today we will know about the stability in designing a control system the main object of control system engineer is that design the system must uh, be stable a engineer a control system engineer their uh, object is the design the system must be stable when it is subject to command a signal extraneous input anywhere within loop and change in parameter of the feedback loop the stability is a very important characteristic of the system uh, stability of the system implies that the small change input uh, do not result the large effect on the system a response when the in, we will provide the input to the system and then the system with large do not large effect on the system and this is the uh, bounded uh, signal here uh, x1 x2 x3 here the input it is the one-type bounded signal this is a bounded uh, signal here the it is the one type of bounded signal here the positive amplitude and negative amplitude the input x3 the signal is bounded the sig signal the output is constant the signal is within limit the un <laughs> unbounded signal is when the uh, signal this type this type of system is called and their output this type when time the call is unbounded unbounded signal the signal are called the unbounded signal here this signal also called the unbounded signal unbounded signal 5 is the input 0 with respect to time the signal is called the unbounded signal when that signal output is large compared to the origin uh, those uh, system we called the stable uh, stable system uh, that uh, that is uh, their output is bounded for any bounded input when we provide a, a system when we provide the signal to the system thus we provide a bounded signal to the system then the output we, the output will get from the uh, signal is bounded this system is called the stable stable titanium the stable titanium the system is said to be bounded input and bounded output the stable if for the every bounded input that the output is bounded a system is stable when the bounded input and bounded output the stable if the stable if for every bounded input the output is bounded this criteria is known as bibo bounded input and bound, bounded output stability criteria typically stable and unstable system so in below this is the on type of signal the bounded input is provided to the stable we provide to the any system the system output is bounded output it is the typical stable response now if for a bounded input and bounded input the output is unbounded when you put the when you put the bounded input and we will get the unbounded output then the system is known as the unstable 
here the, we provide the bounded input to the system then we get a result the unstable system and also we output result is unbounded <coughs> the condition on implies the response for bounded input and bounded output stability can easily obtaining using convolution integral how to understand the s system stable or unstable to test the stability of a system first of all find the root of the characteristic equation and then apply the following rules we will follow the some uh, different type of rule for testing a system stable or unstable the rule number one is if a, all the root of the characteristic equation is lie in the left half of a plane the system is stable if all the root of the characteristic equation lie in the left half of the plane the system is stable that means suppose that it, it is uh, it is a plane it is a um, real axis it is a imaginary a axis it is a right half plane it is a uh, left half a plane if all the root of the characteristic equation lie in the left half of the s plane the system is stable when the roots are present in the left half plane of the s plane then this time system is stable suppose they are root minus 4 minus 2 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 these are root are present in the left half plane of s plane this time is the system is stable second if any of the roots of the characteristics equation lie in the right half right half of the s plane this system is unstable the system is unstable when the sum root uh, are present in right half plan suppose the one root is present in here then this time the system is unstable if any of the root of the characteristic equation lie in the right half of s plan the system is s plan and the system is unstable that is if rule uh, if uh, rule on is satisfied if rule on is uh, satisfied except for the response of on or more uh, non on or more non uh, non repeated uh, root on the imaginary axis in the s plan then the system is marginally stable suppose uh, a suppose a characteristic equation the characteristic equation from the characteristic equation we get the roots are minus 1 minus 5 plus 4 minus 3 this time the roots are non repeated here the roots is minus 1 minus 5 here the root plus 4 minus 3 this time here the sign not uh, repeated non repeated root on the imaginary non repeated on the imaginary axis in this s plane then the system is marginally stable then this time uh, we call uh, we can say the system is stable and the four point uh, number four if the characteristic equation has uh, uh, repeated has repeated root on the imaginary axis if the characteristic equation has uh, repeated uh, roots on the imaginary axis then the system is unbounded and unstable when the characteristic equation are provide uh, the uh, roots uh, are these roots uh, are all imaginary then this time we can say the system is unbounded and unstable I have taken an example 
for find out the stability of the system suppose it is the transfer function transfer function ts or cs by rs or gs you can say and the 5 into s plus 1 by 3 is to the power 3 cube 3 s square plus 5 s plus 3 s and this below this d denominator part is called the characteristic equation we will find the stability of the uh, system from the characteristic equation the characteristics equation the characteristics equation is as cube plus 3 s square plus 5 s plus 3 <coughs> here uh, it is the no it is a denominator part it is a denominator or part here the number we find the number of pole and in zero here the upper part is zero upper part is called zero and lower part is the pole we will find the root of doing of domain denominator or part then the s1 is equal to s1 is equal to s plus 1 equal to 0 then the s is equal to minus 1 this is a 1 root is 1 is equal to minus 1 <coughs> also we will find in the root of the characteristics equation the roots are minus 1 minus 1 plus j into root over 2 and minus 1 minus j into root over of 2 all the roots of the characteristics equation all roots of characteristic equation characteristics equation are equation are on the left left half is plan therefore the system is stable therefore the system is stable therefore the system is unstable because the roots are all the roots are present in the left half s plan the minus 1 minus 1 here minus 1 or minus j or root 2 the three are roots are negative or imaginary root the all the roots are present on the left half left half s plan then the system is called stable <coughs>